Another interesting and valid question that I received this week is if your inlet valve is close to your outlet valve is it possible to charge the main air reservoir chamber by putting the air through the regulator from the piston end? The simple answer to that is no. The air going through from the piston end would only actually reach the regulated pressure so if you filled this end to say 150 bar and your regulator was set at 100 bar then the main air reservoir would only get up to 100 bar and so you would just defeat the object also the vastly increased pressure on the piston whilst the pressure on this side is low would cause the knife edge face in here to embed itself into the ceiling face on the adjuster screw and damage the regulator. If the pressure here reaches 200 bar and on the piston side reaches 200 bar you won't damage the uh, seal face on the adjuster screw just if this is at 100 and this chamber at the front the outlet valve chamber uh, goes well up above the regulator pressure. Uh, so he also asked, is it possible then to alter your gun round so that you can fill it up so you can use a regulator in your rifle? The answer is most likely yes. Uh, the reason I say this is this gentleman had got his fill valve at what I described the back of the gun near the action and he got a pressure gauge on the very front of the action, on the front of the reservoir tube. Uh, the thing with this is most of the threads in air gunning are what's known as 8th BSP or 8th NPT. So everything is interchangeable. So it would be quite easy to take your pressure gauge from the front and your inlet valve fill nipple from the rear and with a little bit of jiggery poker in but you might have to do a little alteration switch them over so that the gauge can be at the back and will read the pressure of the regulator and the inlet will be at the front what I'll say about this is here we have two gauges and two inlet valve site Foster's nipples in the UK the most common thread size is 8th BSP which means eighth of an inch internal bore British standard pipe now you can also get BSP T which means British standard pipe tapered this is more like what you'll find on guns from the Far East and in America so this thread is 8th BSP T also known as 8th NPT there is a very small difference but in general you can interchange an 8th NPT with an 8th BSP T uh, and vice versa so here you can see there's the parallel thread on the standard BSP and here's the tapered thread on the NPT or BSPT. Here we have on the left the NPT and on the right the BSP. You can clearly see the taper on the NPT. And here we have the example of the cutters used to produce the female version of this thread. On the left the NPT and on the right the BSP. This is my own Rapid 7, which has been heavily altered over the years. It started life as a Mark 1 Elan, but as you was only getting 30 shots out of it really in 2.2, I altered it and fitted on a long air arms cylinder. So at the same time as doing this, I fitted the pressure gauge into the front of the air reservoir and I fitted myself a quick fill at the back uh, so this like the gentleman who asked the question during the week means that fitting a regulator would be slightly more tricky uh, only to the point though where because the thread on this is BSP 
and the thread on the front of the gauge is BSP I could simply remove this and fit the gauge in here I could then take this fitting which is BSP with the cover filler and simply take the gauge out of the front of the cylinder and then fit the fitting from the back in the front which would necessitate me being able to fit a, a regulator.